The Tin Cap seven game Parkview Field winning streak comes to an end tonight as Fort Wayne falls to Bowling Green 7 2 in the middle game of their three game series. Back up in the booth with Dave Doster. I'm John Nolan. Appreciate you sticking with us. And Dave, the pitching had been so fantastic so far in the second half, even going back to the end of the first half. I suppose Fort Wayne was just due for a night like this. Uh, I don't want to blame it on the batting practice because I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but. You're going to have those days where you pitch so well all month and you're going to have a game where it, nothing works out right for you. So that's kind of what we had tonight. And offensively, the Tin Caps got off to a quick start with two runs early, couldn't sustain it. Let's take a look back at the highlights from this Tin Caps loss. And it started in the beginning of the first inning. Bowling Green gets on the board, an RBI double from Justin Williams. That came with two outs off of Nelson Lamette. He only went three for Fort Wayne. Then it was Rudy Hirone with a double off of the wall that tied the game at one. Nick Torres would add a sacrifice fly in that bottom of the first inning, and the Tin Caps took a 2-1 lead. It stayed 2-1 here even in the top of the third inning when Grant K had a base hit to right field. Franmil Reyes unleashes to the plate. Jose Ruiz, a nice job of blocking and tagging out Hunter Lockwood. So it stayed 2-1, but it wouldn't stay that way for long. In the fifth inning against Brandon Fry, there was Justin Williams with an RBI hit, and that made it 3-2. The Hot Rods took the lead. They wouldn't look back. Later, a two-run double from Mac James to score Justin Williams and Hunter Lockwood. That time would not be thrown out by Franmil Reyes. Made it 5-2 and late. The Hot Rods added a couple more insurance runs. Final score, 7-2. On the bright side for the 10 caps tonight, our player of the game, Franmil Reyes. His third three-hit game of the season offensively and defensively. You saw he threw a runner out of the plate. He also made another nice diving catch. So offensively and defensively, Franmil shined tonight. He did. He, you just see the maturity from last year and as he's grown in this league and more patient at the plate, getting pitches he can hit, and when he gets the pitch he wants, he does not uh, does not let it go by. And defensively, he's been there, and he's just again, like you said, maturing as a player and and uh, the all around games coming around. The 19 year old in his second go around with Fort Wayne has been a bright spot here during Fort Wayne's positive stretch of play. Even with this loss, the Tin Caps still seven and three over their last ten. Full moon. Fairly routine game here, though, tonight. Nothing too out of the ordinary. In front of a crowd of more than 4,000 tonight, and after the 10 caps had played a couple of games of less than two hours and 20 minutes, tonight all not all that long, but longer by comparison. So we've got a rubber match now set for tomorrow. It's a 12.05 game. And for the 10 caps, they'll turn to Michael Kelly, who went six scoreless his last time out. He'll look to keep that going against Anderson Franco. Our coverage tomorrow will start at 12 o'clock. We hope you can join us. And, hey, bring a bathing suit, bring a towel, get here downtown at Splash Day. Tickets still available online at tincapstickets.com. And the Tin Caps hope as the calendar turns, they'll go back to the pitching that had been leading them to victories of late. You will. I mean, you get a month, and you finally get this month over. They've done so well. So you expect to have a bad game here and there, so... First day of July tomorrow, and hopefully they can start a new streak and uh, roll it through July. June, the best month of the season so far for the Tin Caps. They hope to make July even better. Hope you can join us again. Our coverage starts at 12. For everyone behind the scenes here tonight, and for my partner, Dave Doster, John Nolan saying thank you for joining us, and good night from Parkview Fields. This has been a Tin Caps production.